All right, everyone. I take the, I, took, I did take a little rest and I did take a water break, but I but I kept going. I I was charging the battery during that time. I think it's up enough to the point where I can start recording again. Uh, so you're not gonna get the whole ride, but I don't think you missed much. I'm about to go into. Um, I'm just in the shade right now here. Uh, I'm about to go into uh, where the bike trail kind of goes down here next along the, uh, the bayou. And I just saw some kind of fish out there. But, so it's going kind of along the bayou here. And, uh, there we go. Ooh, there's a lot of wind right here. I'm on pedal assist zero, that's why. Go pedal assist two. Uh, let's take it to gear six. There seems to be headwind right here. Anyways. So here's... Here's the... Uh, I don't know what... This is the Braze Bayou or something, I'm not sure. But uh, you can see the medical center right there up in the distance, pretty close to downtown. So it's almost 11.30 and how many miles do I have on this so far? I reached 20.8 miles on, well it's, it says 10.4, but I have to double it. So 20.8 miles, 21 miles now. So I'm just gonna go off with that. Seems about right. I think another four miles I'll reach uh, Herman Park. And then after that, I'll be passing by that. I'm not gonna stop by there. And I'm still on four battery, four bars of battery. Amazingly, I'm on four bars of battery here. And uh, Here I go. So I'm a third, a third of the way through the whole trip. So far, no issues, uh, no flats, none that I can see. Everything seems to be going good. If there is, I'm sure the slime took care of it. I got the, uh, I got the, a tag along towel around my neck now. I was just draping out over my collar. Now I put it back onto my neck. Just trying to. The problem is, if you have it on around your neck all the time, it eventually absorbs all your all your body heat, or it feels that way. And then all of a sudden, you you start to get warm. It's almost like it insulates around your neck. And so I uh, have to kind of take it off to put it around the collar or over the collar over my collarbone and onto my shoulders let it let it air out get kind of cool and uh, it's still on my neck and then put it back around over my my jugular my arteries let it just cool out that way so last time I had it on my neck all the time and it just trapped heat so gotta let it breathe Right now it's just drenching. Oh, there's a little heron or a crane in the middle of the bayou. Probably looking for a fish to eat. It kind of bottlenecks over there. So I'm just gonna follow this guy. Give it some room here. To your left. All right. Can't wait 
for this person to pass by and I'll, I'll pass by this guy. To your left. All right, there we go. things moving in the water. I don't know if it's an alligator or alligator gar, which is a kind of fish. Almost looks like an alligator with no legs and stuff. There's a metro line right there. Looks like you're getting a good view. It looks pretty steady, from what I could tell. So I got the uh, gimbal on a horizontal lock, but it still pans left to right. I think that gives a better, smoother ride, especially on uh, paved roads. It doesn't do that great on uh, off-road. So on off-road, I put it on full pan mode. It usually does the trick. I got the suspension on full in the front. The seat post, suspension post. What is the Sun, Sun Core NCX or something? SP12 or suspension post. Got that from Rad Power Bikes. You can get it from Amazon a little bit cheaper, but uh, anyways, I end up getting free shipping from them anyway. I buy a lot of stuff from them, so hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to buy the front rack so I can use the front rack system. I'm hoping anyway. So I could buy the front rack system and, uh, and I'll give him a call about some other stuff, um, issues I'm having, like the Red Mini. One of the uh, threads is a larger thread on the rack, so I couldn't put the uh, all four screws in the uh, or all four bolts in the uh, onto the Red uh, Mini rear rack. Couldn't attach the large basket onto it. And then uh, the head of one of the bolts stripped off. Head, the head of one of the bolts stripped off on the rear rack of the Rad Rover. It seems to be holding up, but uh, you know, just let them know about that. So we got some. I don't know if they're homeless. There's some people on the other side of the uh, bayou over there, underneath the bridge. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna go to Memorial Park. I'll show you Memorial Park. I've already been there. Ugh, lower my gear. Still on pedal assist two. I might go to pe pedal assist three at this point here. Seven pedal says three. All right, so I'm gonna stay down here. Last time I went up there, so I'm gonna stay down here. But I'm pretty much at Herman Park now. I'm trying to get to Discovery Park as my halfway point. Ooh, got some wind here. Oh, a lot of wind. Seems like the wind gets funneled down here. So 
So I'm on pedal assist three, it's trying to pick up some more speed. It's already 11.30, so the buffet has already started. I'm trying to, I'm contemplating. The buffet costs 35 bucks. The beach house, I think they have one called the lodge and the other one called the beach house. That's the restaurant they have on the Discovery Bay Park or Discovery Green Park. So over there is where they have, that's uh, Herman Park. Sorry if I messed up that view. So I'm going to pass by. The whole point is just to do a whole tour, a bike tour around Houston, back to my house. I'm right, going about 20 miles an hour here. All right, so I continue on and I think eventually I need to shoot off to the left, but I don't know where that is. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to maybe stop someplace and consult my GPS at some point. Hello bird, or pigeon, rats with wings. Oh, hit through some water. All right, at least I'm getting some air going through my body here, some ventilation. Looks like they even let you go down here a little bit, but I'm not sure if I wanna go down that far. I'll stay up here. I understand you can probably go kayaking around here too on this uh, bayou. Or they may let you. I think, the, I think you're allowed to go kayaking. I don't see any kayaking today. I haven't seen any anybody kayaking at all. So. down a little bit. Five. Little sister gear five. Oh, I hear some noise coming from the back. Must be getting tired. Alright, so I'm not quite sure where I am. I might have to consult the uh, my GPS here. stop here because I think I need to make a right left turn but uh, I've never been here so I gotta I gotta verify that uh, yeah. uh. let me verify that real quick when this happens. Alright. 
So, let me go to uh, map real quick. Okay. Sorry about this, if it's taking too long, but just want to make sure where I am. Okay. doesn't tell me where I am and there's two ways of getting there and uh, I actually think I need to go further let's have a look here and do a little satellite It is so bright out here, I can't even see it. All right, uh, this. It's not tracking me where I am. It's telling me I'm in a different location. I hate this GPS. <sighs> Why can't I figure out where I am? Okay, I do think I do think I need to take a, a left here. So with that being said, wasted a couple a few minutes here. <sighs> Sorry, I've never been up this way, so it's logical that this would be the right way, but uh, again, I've never been up here. There's a map right here. Let's see what the map says. <sighs> All right, this this looks like the right way. So, uh, it's Columbus Trail, I guess. So I'm on the Columbus Trail. All right, I just never been here. This is my now from here. This is all new territory for me. So uh, forgive me if I stopped. How much time did I waste? Oh, about ten minutes. Great. Anyway, pedal assist three, gear seven. Gotta make up some time now. Watch out for 
some traffic here. Okay. And of course the GPS isn't working, isn't that lovely? Must be very close to probably Hobby, Hobby Airport. That's the only thing I can think of. I don't see anyone. It's a Columbia Tap Rail to Trail. Hmm. Okay. See some interesting. Uh, Homes and projects out here. I mean, homes and buildings. I'm going through Southern, South, South Southern Texas University. It's around here as well. Let me go down pedal assist too. I'm down one battery bar. All the stopping and going, stopping and going probably isn't helping. <sighs> Doesn't seem like a lot of traffic out here right now. So I'm gonna be going through a university, Texas Southern University. If I go a little bit further this way, I would uh, go to University of Houston. Of course, it's summer, so nobody's on campus. Yeah, Texas Southern University. Okay. Oh, it really looks nice, doesn't it? Let me gear down. There we go. Gear down to six. Someone lost their hat over there. Anyways. My butt is kind of getting a little sore, but just have to move it around on the uh, on the seat post. Now, I'm gonna let y'all know that this is kind of getting into a little bit of the hood in Houston area, so. But you know, I'm okay with that because I live in Houston. <laughs> what am I worried about? Although I, I do like read a lot about the local news People do get killed and shot and mugged and everything, but if you don't feel safe in your own city, then, uh, yeah, you know, you should probably move. <laughs> Anyways, I feel safe. I've been here 10 years. Not that I, you know, hang around in shady areas, but... I think most of Houston is very safe. Here's something you'll see 
in neighborhoods like this, you'll just see a horse. And uh, oftentimes, uh, horses are just like, like pets. He's, he's tied to a rope on a tree. And uh, you wouldn't be surprised if you saw some people riding horses out here. So, don't be surprised if you see some people riding horses out here. We had some people, some people, we had some black folks sitting at the uh, table, probably playing some dominoes. They're looking at me. They've probably never seen such a phenomenon like this. Anyways, just another day in the neighborhood. Doesn't matter where you're from, what you do. People who ride bikes, ride bikes. So eventually, I'm hoping this leads me to uh, Polk Street in downtown. And uh, this will take me to Discovery Green Park. Hi. So this will lead me to Discovery Green Park. And that's actually the halfway point for me. I'm actually already at a half an hour here. I'll just stop and go. On pedal assist 2, gear 6, I'm throttling while uh, I'm at the stop sign to give me a good push. Make sure I at least uh, make sure there's no traffic coming. Okay. Uh, I think, I don't know if this is 288 freeway. I gotta, I gotta look. Maybe, or maybe 610, not sure. No problem. <laughs> Got some more horses. I see a lot of horses out here. If you want to take a look, see the horses. There's, a, there's one horse right there. Sorry about that. I'm trying to keep you. Yes, it does, sir. You got a motor? Uh, it's an electric bike. Oh, shit. I had to run good. Yeah. Shit. Electric bike. <laughs> What's up, man? I like that. <laughs> All right. I got a hook in your arm. Yeah. All right. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I don't like talking to people on riding the bike all that much, yeah. Alright, so hopefully we can get out here to, uh, to, uh, I see downtown Houston on the left side of me right here. So, oh, here's Polk Street. Alright, all I have to do is make a left on Polk Street. And, uh, I'm there. Any, any cars? Yep. I see a few cars. Just three here seven since I'm on a road. Uh, Alright, so maybe uh 
I will make it by uh, 1230 at Discovery Green and uh, I will I'll be able to have uh, I don't know a buffet buffet brunch or whatever they're serving I'm willing to try it I'm hungry I didn't eat breakfast I uh, all I did was drink my nutritional shake so I can use some uh, fuel nothing like a good fuel like a buffet to feed you and from there so let me see 9 10 11 12 that was three hours almost four technically almost four I'll say four hours eight it's an eight hour round trip maybe an hour or two hours eating and relaxing at the halfway point so I'll be gone for almost ten hours not bad so I just go straight up this and then I'll eventually hit the George R. Brown Center I'll eventually hit the George R. Brown Center and then that right across from the George R. Brown Center should be the uh, the the uh, Discovery Green Park. Matter of fact, there it is. I see the George R. Brown Center right there. There's downtown, everyone. I'm sure you can see it. Yeah. There's the Hilton. Hilton on the left side, Marriott on the right side. All right. Ooh, that that suspension post is very useful. I got I got a right. I got it at a good spot. Maybe I'll just a little bit more. Who knows? But right now, I'm feeling good. Keeping up with cars. I got my own bike lane. It's a little rough. Whoa, it is a little rough. Uh, I have to admit, it is a little rough. I'm at the Hilton. Last time I was here was for that Matsuri whatever. Matter of fact, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, well, let me just, I'll just stay on here. I'll think about making a right turn, but uh, I'll just stay here. All right, I guess I could, I could make a right turn. You know what I am? I'm just gonna go on the right side here. I'm not that far from Discovery Green here. Here, here it is. Here's the start of it. Matter of fact, let's just let's just ride around just a little bit. I'm gonna get a pedal assist down to to one. Gear off on the on the uh, on the gear. And so you can see the last time I was here, I was for Matsuri Anime Matsuri. I'm just gonna ride around so you, you all can see here. Beautiful Sunday. I don't think they allow too much traffic on this street. So, let's have a look at this nice little water fountain here. All right, I made it just in time. Look at that. Oh, that's so nice. Very impressive. All right, Road got my bike to Discovery Green Park. I'll do a quick ride around. That's uh, that's where I want to eat right there. Uh, let's see if it looks like they got some outdoor seating areas. I could probably lock my bike up to one of the railings they have here. Uh, well, I don't see any railings, but. Uh,
Okay. All right, this is uh, their drink Sunday drink menu. It's a buffet, but uh, you know what do they got? Classic mimosa, Grove mojito, lime. Of course, I'm not going to be drinking anything. It's fifteen dollars each with one cent refills. Okay. Well, that that might be worth it, but I'm not going to drink alcohol because uh, you know I'm, I'm trying to increase my testosterone, not lower it. But uh, I'm going to have some orange juice. And drink some water. Oh, I mean, cold water. Oh, now I could just go in anytime. Um, I'm gonna turn it off, and I'm going to uh, get my food and come back. Uh, other people are eating, so I don't want to be too weird. But uh, it's kind of too late for that. So let me uh, just uh, cut out here, and I'll show you what I got. Or maybe I could just bring you along real quick. Uh, let's just let's just do that. Oh, orange juice, awesome. Well, you know what? Let's, let's just I don't know, let me have some orange juice first. Anyways, let me, let me turn you off and charge you. Uh, I'll just show you what I got. If you want to know what what they have for buffet around here, you should just come here. All right, see you later. All right, everyone, my, my first meal uh, in this buffet looks like some pork bellies. I got a little toast. This is ham. They got bacon, but I thought this was much better. Um, they have eggs on the toast, uh, watermelon, scrambled eggs. Actually, no, this is grits. I love grits. Uh, and some jam. I think that's jam over there. Uh, that's just, just a small portion of it. They got a whole lot more. So I have, uh, they're open till three. So this is going to be my first meal. Wow. Um, it's like $35. But, you know, if you eat three times, um, you know, per meal, that's about 12 bucks a meal, you know, it depends how much you're going to eat, but wow, uh, the watermelon, oh, I'm going to have some right now, just have some refreshing watermelon, uh, mmm. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh my god, it's good. Watermelon's good. I needed that. All right, let me, let me eat. I mean, now I gotta take off this gimbal, let it charge. But, uh, anyways, I'll be back. Bye. All right, everyone, I'm back. And uh, my second plate more watermelon. Uh, what are these? Raspberries or something? Grapes. This is my fruit plate. They got a little, little shrimp salad here. Um, this is Chilean Eggs Benedict, so, uh, I don't know, just something I never tried anything like that. And then I got a little, look at this, this is Jello shots. Um, okay, I'll, I'll try it. So this is my fruit salad-ish kind of plate. So this is my second plate. I'll probably go in after this. I, I, I ate completely the first plate, alright? Well, not completely, I didn't eat all the fat, so try to not eat too much of the fat but um, so this is my second plate of the uh, my kind of fruit salad ish kind of plate and then uh, my last plate will probably be a dessert they got a whole dessert oh my goodness they got a like it's not huge but it's it's um, <clears throat> gourmet kind of dessert so you know whatever it is it's most likely gonna taste good this is uh, a pretty I would say um, <clears throat> you know for me well I would say it's high end. You know, I like to. I'm not a food connoisseur by any means, but um, if it tastes good and I like to eat it, um, I'll give it a thumbs up. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this plate and uh, work on my dessert uh, after this. So I'll, I'll have three plates. So three divided by 35. That comes out to almost like 12 bucks, a little bit less than 12 dollars a plate. Which I think is not too bad considering you, you you get what you want. 
and you know I felt like a little artist you know filling my my palette of my plate as a palette you know I feel like I was designing the perfect the perfect dish A little bee around me, uh, scaring me. Anyways, uh, even though I'm outside and it's most likely in the um, in the 90s, uh, I'm under a tree. Um, kind of give you a little show here. I'm under this nice. Oh, I'm under this nice huge tree, which is giving me wonderful, wonderful shade. Wonderful shade. If I was in the sun, I'd be uh, I'd be hating it. Like if I was sitting right there, I'd be kind of hating it. It's not as humid, uh, especially as, since I've been riding around. It is. It feels dry. I think it has a lot to do with the Sahara sand plume that's in Houston. But man, let me get let me let me get started on this, man. I'm getting hungry. All right, I didn't I didn't finish all the last plate. Um, oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I uh, didn't finish all of the last plate. The Chilean eggs benedict was a little different, and I don't know what was under the egg. So, but I'm sure it tasted good. It's just uh, it was a little different than the typical Canadian bacon that I was used to. But, um, anyways, I am I am starting to get full. So this is my dessert plate. Uh, the jello was really good. The last plate I had, the jello was really great. Anyways, um, watermelon. I love watermelon. Need it today. Uh, cinnamon roll, and I don't know what this is, but this looks like apple with some kind of caramel cream in there. Ooh. A lot of water. I probably put uh, nice cold water into my uh, into my uh, water bladder. There's the bike. Not gonna leave, <laughs> not gonna stray too far away from it, but this will probably be my final dish for today from uh, the Grove. This place is called the Grove. Uh, here it is. Uh, the Grove. Really great place. Um, uh, I'm enjoying it uh, under a tree. Even though it's uh, 90s, it's a very dry 90, so it feels really good. I'll probably have another 30 mile to go home. I'll be going through downtown and along the Buffalo Bayou and as well as um, back to Memorial, through Memorial, down into the Galleria area and back to uh, the uh, Bray's Bayou and, and Keegan's uh, Bayou down the trail over there and then headed back through Fry's. I'm back home, so whew, it's only uh, maybe one o'clock. Let me see what time is it. What time is it right now? Uh, it's one one fifteen. Uh, I may uh, just stay here just a little bit long for the battery to charge. Once the battery gets topped off um, on the phone battery, that is, uh, I'll uh, get going. Bye.